Are you serious? Are you serious? Asteroids! Asteroids! Deep, 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 deep impact. Is it going to happen? Well, the Bible says it will happen. At least two deep impacts are going to hit the Earth. Asteroids. One may be a comet. One may be an asteroid. But certainly it is in the Bible. In Revelation chapter 8. But yesterday there were three major news articles about an incoming, millions of incoming asteroids. And that's true. It's increasing daily. We are not going to escape the deep impacts. The question will be, will you be able to escape it? Or will you be here when the wrath of God is poured out upon the planet? Well, first of all, there was three articles. The Daily Express had one called Apocalypse Fears. Asteroid will hit the earth with millions headed toward the planet now. And that is true. Then there was one by RT News. Incoming. NASA says five close asteroid flybys will take place today. That was yesterday. It happened. And then Sputnik International News out of Russia. So will we live to see tomorrow? Five giant asteroids to zoom past the earth in the next few hours. Well, yes, we did live to see tomorrow. It is, today is tomorrow. But let's review this for a moment because even with the uh, reports, let's say over at the Daily Express, we'll take that one since they're all three pretty similar. So the article goes on to say millions of asteroids are hurtling toward the earth. This is true. And uh, that most of them are undetected. They threaten to wipe out humanity as we know it. Experts have warned. Well, there's going to be fire and brimstone hit the earth, folks. The earth is going to melt with a fervent heat. I can't change the prophecies in the Bible. It's in Revelation 8.8. 8. Revelation 16 talks about the water turning into blood also from some kind of an event, catastrophic, cataclysmic, apocalyptic event. Certainly even 2 Peter chapter 3 talks about the earth melting with a fervent heat. I think the impact we're going to have, the two impacts are so powerful, they will set off super volcanoes and massive tsunamis and destroy about a third of the population of the planet, according to the Bible. Matter of fact, the scientists are now confirming what the Bible said was coming 2,000 years ago. Scientists at the B12, B612 Foundation, based in the United States, are 100% certain that the rogue space rocks will smash into Earth. And they're right. The Bible's 100% certain it will happen also. Only 18,000 asteroids are being tracked globally, with the majority not even monitored. That's true. It's about 1,900 that are closely being monitored out of 18,000, but millions are racing by and they're too, they're too small or they're too fast or there's too many that we don't have the uh, capability to spot them all. The shock revelations have sparked fears that an asteroid could end life on Earth. Uh, Danica Remy, president of the B612 Foundation, warned that the operational telescopes can only pick up a small number of the asteroids. She said the telescope's field of view is very small and the sky is very big. We can currently determine in advance uh, if one of those 18,000 asteroids we're, we have observed is going to hit us. But we only know if one of the several million asteroids we haven't observed is on a trajectory toward the Earth right now. And if we may get a two or three hour uh, notice. We may spot it and say, uh oh, here we go. We got an hour. We got two hours. We got three. You're never going to hear the warning. They're going to just let the impact happen. Now, uh, if scientists are admitting this, and they are, it might be picked up, but it's most likely a lot of them, as they're racing toward us, will get hit with one and we'll never know it was coming. If we do spot it, it'd be too late to do anything about it anyway. So we understand it is going to happen. Let me tell you what the Bible says. To, to just to match that report. In Revelation 8.8, 8, the scripture says, when there's this, this, there's silence in heaven for about the space of a half hour, and I saw the seven angel which stood before God, 
And to them was given seven trumpets. And they began to blow these trumpets to start to break uh, some things loose in the heavens. And the scripture says this uh, in verse, I'll even start at verse uh, five. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar up in heaven and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and a third part of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. So this isn't even a deep impact of an asteroid. This is fire and brimstone from so many smaller meteors that are just going to start crashing through the earth. Then in verse 8 it says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning, with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven. So it's, it's as if this might be a comet burning as it were a lamp. So the first one was probably an asteroid. The second one was probably a comet or a piece of a comet. It's still burning like a lamp. It fell upon the third part of the rivers and the fountains of waters. So it must have hit land. So the first one hits the ocean, creating a massive tsunami, kills about a third of the, of the creatures of the sea, wipes out a third of the ships in the oceans, just is insane. But the second one, a great star burning, fell up and, and it poisoned the waters and the rivers uh, and the fountains of waters. And the name of that star is called Wormwood. Now, some would say that's Nibiru. Some say that's Planet X. It's definitely going to create poisonous radiation in the water. So it's probably going to hit land. A third part of the waters become wormwood or bitter or poisonous from radiation poisoning. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So, and then it's going to, we have more things. The fourth angel sounds in the sun, smitten the moon. But back to the asteroids, you, we are going to have a deep, deep impact. It is absolutely going to happen. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, well, maybe we'll be okay. No, it, this earth is going to get rocked with two massive deep impacts. And so NASA is telling you, the scientists are telling you that there's millions of them swinging, flying by, and they're increasing and the amounts of them. So look, the Bible says, Jesus said in the last days that the heavens are going to shake and it's going to be like the stars will fall from heaven like a fig tree casting its untimely figs when it's shaken of a mighty wind. Trust me when I tell you this. The prophecies of the Bible are true. We will be hit with two deep, deep, deep uh, impacts. Asteroids will hit the earth. Millions will die. It's coming soon. It is coming very soon. We're on the brink of the beast and we're on the edge of eternity this is the apocalyptic hour and the soon end of the age are you saved give your life to jesus christ i'm I, look I, I i'm sorry it's gonna happen we're running out of time 